Hey folks, I'm going to talk about perspective in relation to circles. So here we have a paper plate, which is a circle, and it's completely flat. It's parallel to my eye, so it looks round. But what happens if I tilt it? It begins to change shape. We know in, in, in our brains that this is still a circle, but it doesn't look like a circle anymore. It's become much narrower this way in relation to the sides. It's become kind of flat if I turn it this way. Oh my goodness. You know, now we can even see the underside of it a little bit. So when you're drawing it, it you have to draw it the way it looks. If you want it to look like a plate, where you're looking at the side of the plate and not looking down on it, you have to look at it in this other way. So, more about how this change happens. Perspective, what else is there to this? Well, I had to put a line on this paper plate. This line is perfectly in the middle. I carefully measured it, made sure that it's right in the middle. And then I took a photo of it while it was at an angle. And there's something interesting that you'll notice here, which is that, you know, because the sides are curved, they kind of curve up. You know, it's really not in the middle anymore. It's really, you know, it's, it's like a little smile on the side. But even in the middle, if I measure this bottom part in the middle, it's over two inches. Over two inches from the center. And the top part is not quite one and three quarters. So what's happening? Why is the plate, why is this right in the middle here, and yet it's not in the middle once we turn it at an angle? Well, what's happening is when things are closer to you, they get bigger. I mean, we know this intellectually, but it's sort of odd to translate it to other shapes. Like for example, right, this makes sense. We know this is a road, it's going to the horizon line here, and we can accept that maybe these all, if you look straight down at them, all of these lines would be equidistant, but because it's going far away from us, they look like they're getting smaller and smaller. Exactly the same thing here, same thing. So if you wanna draw a bowl, right? Or a flat paper plate, something, if you wanna draw a circle, this widest point is going to be a little bit higher than this midpoint. If I took a roll, ruler, that midpoint is going to be a little bit higher than that center part. So I don't have a magic formula. This isn't geometry. But, you know, whenever you're doing a drawing, just think about how to just give you a little bit more space and just try and make this part just a little bit deeper, this lower half, and this upper half a little bit more shallow. If you have a ruler and you can hold it up to your eye and keep it really still, you might be able to actually measure it if you really want to. You can also just take a pen. This is a really useful tool as well. When I'm drawing, how, what is the relationship between the vertical width and the horizontal width? So I would say this paper plate here is about half as tall, I'm putting my thumb right there, as it is wide. It's almost exactly at that midpoint. So when I draw a picture of this plate, and I could use a ruler if I wanted to for this, let's say I wanna make this three inches tall then I know that the proportion of that is going to be about six inches wide. If I put that approximately in the middle at the three. And I wanna go, so I went a little bit higher here. This is a little bit closer to the, this dot is closer to this one, a little farther from that one. This is not going to be perfect, but it'll be good enough. It's going to be a little bit deeper down here and a little bit more shallow. 
up here if I wanted to draw a paper plate. So there we go. That was a bunch of stuff right there. I'm going to give you one more piece of information. You ready? So what if you have a vase? Right? This is not a vase. This is a glass. But it's clear, and that's what's so useful about it. There's a really strong temptation to draw something with the same, you know, something like this. So that the top and the bottom are identical. They're not perfectly identical here, but you can see they both have this oval shape, kind of like that paper plate. Now, what's wrong with that? You can do that if you wanted to, but if you wanted it to be a little more accurate, and you know, we're not being super anal retentive here, but we are still working kind of loosely. Nothing here is perfect. But something to think about is if I had this bottom perfectly flat and even to the eye here, and I put my finger on the back of this glass, you see how my finger is lower? That's not the distortion of the glass. There's perspective going on. And then if I go ahead and make this perfectly flat, you see how that back tilts up? These two sides, especially when you get something that's kind of tall like this, your perspective of the top and the bottom will be different. It's not going to be, you're not going to be able to look down. Here's the lip going towards you, right? And then here's that bottom part going towards you. It's not going to be the same angle. It's going to be a little different. You have to look at your glass closely or your vase closely to see what that difference is. But if it's flat down here, you have more of, you know, this would be even with your eye making it flat. That would make this curved glass is going up. That's what we're looking at right now. If I tilt it so that the top, we can see the top. Right, if we make the top, the top flat. Let's make the top flat. Now our eyes even with the top, which makes it a straight line. Now I can see that oval at the bottom. I wanted to do it like this, where I could kind of see an oval at the top. That oval at the bottom is going to be very deep. There's going to be much more going on there. So let's say I've got a little bit of an oval up here. This at the bottom is going to be very deep. It's going to be closer to a circle. This is going to be shallow. This is going to be much more deep. I know this is kind of a messy example. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, use your eyeballs and look at it and ask questions. And don't just accept what you think you know. It's, it's all there. It's all real. I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> I know this is a lot of information. I hope this is helpful. And uh, give it a try. Bye-bye.